Today we're going to talk about re-energize Maplewood. This is Maplewood's new energy program. In Maplewood we adopted a comprehensive plan and it has some energy goals this time around. As a local government we're really in a unique position to um, influence um, how our residents and businesses react to the use of energy. Uh, so it's important to stand as a leader and also to um, promote those programs that are out there already. Re-Energize Maplewood builds upon the success of the Energize Maplewood program, which was a program that was run over the course of six months in 2016 and included a residential energy challenge where 97 households competed on teams to win points for implementing energy upgrades such as buying into WindSource through Excel Energy or having a home energy audit, and the winning team won a prize. The program also included a Benchmark Your Business program, which provided businesses with energy audits and benchmarking, and used a grant from the MPCA to fund energy upgrades. In 2018, Maplewood is looking to expand upon its good work through the Re-Energize Maplewood program. In order to make this a success, it's very important to uh, work with partners. The City of Maplewood did a, um, apply for a Metro Clean Energy Resource Team seed grant. Now we're also working with Center for Energy and Environment as well as the Minnesota Chamber of Commerce and their Energy Smart program. The first part of Re-Energize Maplewood focuses on energy efficiency in Maplewood's manufactured home parks. Maplewood has four manufactured home parks and we're working with two of them. Um, there's about a, an accumulation of about 500 households in both of the parks and we're doing this exciting program called Battle of the Parks. Battle of the Parks is a contest between uh, two manufactured home parks here in Maplewood, uh, Beaver Lake Estates, where we are right now, uh, and also uh, Rolling Hills, um, which is just down the road. The idea of the contest is that the residents in each park will uh, sign up for the um, Home Energy Squad visits. Home Energy Squad is an XL Energy and Centerpoint Energy program. Two people will um, visit uh, the homes to install some energy saving products and also do uh, an assessment, help people learn about their homes and uh, give them tips on how they can save energy. And whichever park uh, has the most home visits uh, by the end of August uh, wins a fabulous prize. Very competitive, it's a huge deal. The park that wins not only has bragging rights, but they will be rewarded with um, a fabulous party, a huge uh, barbecue, food and drink and jokes, live music, probably one of the biggest events of the summer. The second part of Re-Energize Maplewood works to make renewable energy more accessible to residents and businesses through feasibility studies and more. Our 2040 comprehensive plan has energy goals and one of those goals is um, meeting 50% of our energy needs by renewable energy. Now the sub goal is to do 34% of that by 2022. Leading by example first and foremost. Here in Maplewood we have a freestanding solar panel in front of our city hall. The solar panels on our Maplewood Community Center. The city of Maplewood has um, signed on to an agreement for community solar, looking at putting solar on our new um, park building at Wakefield Park. It's important to lead by example, but then take what we learn and bring that out to the residents and the businesses uh, to make it easier for them to also follow suit. Working with 97 households that originally participated in Energize Maplewood programming, as well as 20 businesses, touching base with them on how their energy efficiency improvements are, are going, but then expanding that and opening it up to renewable energy sources. With each of those businesses, we are partnering with Hale Blue Dot, that is a business here in Maplewood, identifying uh, the solar potential for those properties. And so we will touch base with the property owners um, and provide information um, on the different solar feasibility and concept design for each of those properties. There's so many people that, you know, they want to do something, but they don't know where to start. They don't have the background knowledge uh, on uh, all the nuances of installing solar. So the information that we submit to these people will have the financing options, the feasibility of solar on their property, where to go for help, we'll identify that. 
and then we'll follow up with personal calls to see if there's additional assistance they need. It's really kind of a, a package put together to make it easy for our residents and businesses to move forward with renewable energy. Finally, the program will identify the top 30 sites for solar installations in Maplewood. On top of that, Ted Redman, owner of uh, Pale Blue Dot, and one of our environmental commissioners, will be identifying the top 30 sites for potential solar energy in the city of Maplewood. We have a lot of flat rooftops in Maplewood, so there's a lot of potential for solar here. The owners of these businesses might not know the potential, so we will be identifying those sites and notifying those owners and working with them on um, you know, the financial aspect and so forth. In the end, we'll have a, a nice big celebration uh, we will, you know, recognize um, our accomplishments so, so that other people can learn and it can be used as a template for other cities, really, to work with their residents and businesses. Maplewood's creative use of partners to excite and educate residents and businesses and to empower them to embrace energy efficiency and clean energy has had great success. Learn more about energy efficiency and clean energy projects and strategies at cleanenergyresourceteams.org.